The following video presentation is a fifth grade PLC team analyzing formative assessment data to inform their instruction. From the analysis, the PLC team decided to modify a future assessment to identify whether their instruction and grouping changes can positively impact student learning. One of the things that my class has talked about is that um, it's a, when you're finding common denominators, you're finding equivalent fractions mm -hmm. with the same denominator. So they're using that wording, but what I've noticed is that it might be a little too complex because some of the kids are just saying you're finding equivalent fractions mm -hmm. and never really get into that you have to have the same denominator. Mm -hmm. right. So I, I charted who they were and I'm going to pull them back and make sure that yeah. they understand and they get it. It's literally them just not using the language mm -hmm. um, to make it fit what the question was. The question I had with this one too is they say, you know, you're finding a common denominator, you're finding the equivalent fraction. Do they then have to say what the common denominator should be? Well, I mean, I think the other thing you want to see, and I, I think this was actually a very similar or maybe the exact question on a test last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. And one of the discussions we had about this is you want kids to know that they can't do that because right. the pieces are different sizes. I mean, that's really what you want to mm -hmm. see come and, out of and it. And that's what I didn't have any of my kids. And right. they know it if you ask mm -hmm. them, but they're not writing it. So right. almost all of my kids, they just said you can't do that. Yeah, that, that, this, is, this is a question that we saw uh, on one of the state tests because we had a big discussion about that. Um, kids just are seeing them as numbers right. and not as amounts right. or yeah. quantities. And so we have to, I mean, it's the visual piece again. First, you have to find equivalent fractions. So there's that mm -hmm. misconception of equivalent fractions with the same denominator. Right. Then you just add them. Um, and you would get your answer of 1 and 2 24th. As you can see, Robert's way is wrong. So the kid gets it. He mm -hmm. did yeah. the math the right, right way. Right. But, but he's only scoring a 2 out of 3 because he's not using the language that we need him to use. Right. I mean, so he's, he's really, what he's saying is they have to have the same number in the denominator. And to them, that's, that's the that's surface the rule. level. Mm -hmm. And so how do we get kids to see that you can't add fourths and sixths because it's like adding apples and bananas mm -hmm. right. and you, you can't do that. So how are we going to assess after? What if we created a morning work that's right. just like this, change the numbers, change yarn, whatever it is, give them the same setup. Mm -hmm. And after we've gone through target sentence ungrouping, the tape diagram, so or, quick yeah. little reassessment, you know, even a, take out the fluency plan one day in the module mm -hmm. and throw that in in the beginning of mm -hmm. class almost as yeah. an entrance ticket. Or find like, on, you know, one of the old state tests, one that addresses the same standard, hopefully that has the multi-step. Yeah. Um, it definitely has a multi-step and see what happens. Yeah. Or yeah. even taking this and modifying, mm -hmm. like you said, just, you know, it's not yarn, it's ribbon, it's not Brittany, it's Fred. Right. And, right. right. Yeah. and throwing a couple different numbers in there. Sure. Making sure they have one group. It mm -hmm. would be. Yeah. It would be. And that's a great way to, to see if you've made any progress or if they've made progress. Cool. But again, yeah, very fair questions. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is kind of figuring out those misconceptions. And then um, for some kids, is it just nerves? You know? Right. Do they, is it motivation? Mm -hmm. Right. That's a big piece too. Yeah. Okay, so we have our targets. Mm -hmm. Next step is we'll go back through right. the CFAs, look at our groups, and then we can meet and touch base again on uh, how, how we want to, if we want to on a right. Wednesday, regroup. Do that, and then reassess. Um, and then reassess. Okay. I don't know if one day is going to be enough though. And focus in on, on just one thing at a time. Right. I mean, it, it, well, sometimes when you try and do too much, it's, it's just a rush. It's too stretched. And it's, it's something that they're going to need from now. But I definitely think we got to hit question 20 and 21 because they're mm -hmm. kind of the same concept, just shown a different way. Yeah.